Movies have often depicted huge earthquakes that have the ability to bring down entire cities, and right now scientists are debating when the big one is going to hit. What's worrying is that seismologists have said that a huge earthquake is going to hit the southern San Andreas Fault, but revealed that they don't know when this is going to happen, but notes that it could be any time now. In recent years, earthquakes have hit the North Bay area in California, with the United States Geological Survey saying that one of these earthquakes measured 3.9 in magnitude, while another hit just 17 miles north of San Francisco. Those who are local to the area will know that these types of earthquakes are not rare, but scientists have said that they're waiting for the big one to happen, and have warned that it could hit at any moment. Experts have said the 52-mile fault which runs directly through the region of San Francisco is a ticking time bomb. A recent report from the US Geological Survey has warned that the chances of the big one hitting California has increased dramatically. Experts in California have said it's around 80 years overdue for the big one, which is the name they've given to a massive earthquake that they said would devastate the area. The recent earthquake activity earlier this year hasn't given scientists much hope either, with them noting that although these low tremors that hit Southern California didn't do much damage, the big one would be an entirely different story, saying that the cost of damage could easily go to 200 to 250 billion dollars, and that thousands of people could lose their lives. The US Geological Survey has reported that there's a 20 to 35 percent chance of the big one happening with experts saying this would be around 7.5 in magnitude. USGS researchers have been studying the areas that would be at risk, and say that many factors play into this in regards to which areas would be most affected. New estimations have revealed that the big one might be even bigger than 8 in magnitude. The area has been hit by a big earthquake in the past, with the last big one happening back in 1906 which was recorded as being a 7.9 magnitude earthquake, and that actually ended up moving the fault by 300 miles. 3,000 people lost their lives, and it's since become known as one of the worst earthquakes of all time. Over 80% of San Francisco had been destroyed, and large fires broke out and went on for days. One of the problems that scientists face is trying to predict when these large earthquakes are going to happen, with San Jose State University geologist Kimberly Blusnick saying the following, The San Andreas Fault is one of the best studied faults in the world, and there's still so much we can do. Back in 2019, researchers working in California reported that two large earthquakes had hit the region. They measured in at 6.4 and 7.1 in magnitude, and said this raised the chances of the big one happening saying that although it didn't increase by much, it could have increased the chances of it happening by 1-2% to within the next few years. John Vidal, a professor of earth science, said the following about the big one, and how it could devastate California. Here in California you have dangers from a number of different kinds of earthquakes. The major danger is from the earthquakes on the San Andreas fault system. We haven't had a big earthquake in Southern California since 1857, so basically we're overdue for one. It's moving the ground several yards over an area of 50 square miles, so the power of a 7.8 magnitude earthquake is probably close to the power used in the whole state for a year. Basically something we as a civilization have trouble creating, sort of like a nuclear explosion. People have this idea of running out of their bed and running out of buildings, and that's a terrible idea, because a lot of what we see in earthquakes is people with broken legs, and people who have run through glass. The best thing to do, like we always say, is duck, cover and hold. Get under some piece of furniture. The main point is to protect your head and chest, because the San Andreas will produce the kind of long period shaking which would be very damaging to large tall buildings say in downtown LA and Central City and Long Beach. Older steel buildings, the connections in them have not necessarily been designed to withstand the maximum forces that can be generated. Seismic expert Dr. Kenneth Hodnut said the following, 
What's next is a really tough problem for us, but it's what everybody wants to know. But just because we can create a plausible scenario, does not mean it's going to happen. Seth Steen of Northwestern University said the following, The trouble is the uncertainties on all the numbers in this sequence are huge, and you're cascading those all together. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones said the following on social media, I'm surprised we haven't had it yet. We average 150 years between San Andreas events, and it's been 350 on the southernmost part, but we could actually go another 50 or more. One person asked whether we could get two big ones in a matter of weeks apart, and she responded with the following. Absolutely. This graph is the time between big quakes at one location on the San Andreas Fault. The average is 100 years, but three times it was less than 50, and once more than 300. If they were a week apart, they would look like one event in the geology. So what do you make of these recent announcements, and when do you think the big one will hit? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.